The words temperature and heat are often used to mean the same thing. Actually, they are related, but they don't mean the same thing. Temperature is used to measure how hot or cold an object is. Objects with the same temperature can give off different amounts of heat. Think about this situation. Here are three beakers with different amounts of water in each. The temperature is exactly the same in each beaker. The question for you is, which beaker contains the greatest amount of heat energy? Well, the largest beaker contains the greatest amount of heat energy. Imagine if the temperature had been much higher, such as boiling. If the water were to spill on you, the large beaker would hurt the worst because it has a greater mass of water. And therefore, even though the temperature is the same in all three beakers, the larger one has more heat. Heat is determined by the temperature and the amount of the substance. Temperature is measured with a thermometer, which is usually a hollow tube with either mercury or colored alcohol in it. The fluid will move up or down the tube, depending upon the temperature of the substance being measured. It works like this. All matter is made up of atoms and molecules that are in constant motion. We can't see this motion because the atoms and molecules are so very small. A piece of paper is one million atoms thick. When matter is heated, the atoms or molecules move faster with greater strength. They bounce around more and are more active. When the thermometer touches the object, the motion of the object's molecules is transferred to the molecules of the thermometer fluid. The fluid then either expands, because the molecules are moving faster, or the fluid contracts, because the molecules are moving slower than before. When the fluid expands, it moves up the thermometer and registers a high temperature. The motion of atoms and molecules in matter is called kinetic energy. So temperature measures the average kinetic energy of a substance.